Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental. In this video, I'm going to show you four great summer fragrance choices from the House of Doer. Stay tuned to FM. The first fragrance I'm going to talk about is Matrix. This is based on Neo from Zerzhov and it's a clean, elegant citrus scent. Prominent notes in this one for me are the Neroli, the Bergamot and the Vetiver. There's not a lot of sweetness to this. I get a little bit of a sea saltiness vibe going on, so it's quite an aquatic citrusy scent. There's some warm spices in here, there's some cardamom, some nutmeg, but to me, they're not prominent notes, they seem to be more in the background. There's also some woods, there's garlic wood, cedar wood, and then there's also amber. So the woods and the amber aren't really providing a great deal of depth to this fragrance. To me, this is quite a light, clean citrus scent. I've been testing Matrix against Neo, which I got a small sample of from Greg at fragrancesamplesuk.com. I'll leave a link to his site down there if you're interested in checking out any samples. And they're pretty much the same. I would say that the Dewar has more prominent bergamot, vetiver, neroli, whereas in Neo I pick up a little bit more on the warmer spices, the, the woods and the amber. So there's maybe a touch more depth to the original, but that's really digging in and if I'm honest, in the air, I don't think there's really any difference at all. So Matrix is a really nice inspired expression of Zerzhov's Neo. For me, performance is moderate for both Neo and Matrix. I'm not getting a big projection and it'll last on me for around about six hours. So if you like clean, crisp, elegant citrus scents that aren't overly sweet, this one could be the one. Next up is Amalfi Coast. This is Dewar's take on Creed's Jardin de Malfi, which is part of their Royal exclusive line, so a little bit more expensive than your usual Creed. This is a gorgeous, sweet, fruity scent. Notes in this include bergamot, mandarin, apple. There's a hint of neroli, although it's not a really strong neroli note in this. There's also some cinnamon and cedarwood, which help provide some sweetness and depth to the fragrance. This is a smooth, well-rounded, nicely balanced fruit and floral scent. For me, the winner with this fragrance is the lovely apple accord that I get. It's not a gourmandish apple, like for example in Parfums de Mali's Ojan. This is more like biting into a cool, crisp, juicy apple on a warm summer's day. It's got a bit of zest, some smooth, sweet fruitiness, and a lovely depth to it. I haven't tried Creed's original, Jardin de Malfi. I just know that this is a very pleasant scent. I really enjoy it, and I'm looking forward to wearing this quite a lot through the summer. Next up is Poseidon's Elixir 13ZZ. This is Dewar's take on a fragrance called Adventi Adventure, Ad Ad what's it called? Aventus, Aventus. So this is based on a 2013 batch 13ZZ. Now, I don't really get into batches when it comes to Aventus. It's tempting, but to be honest, I'm not really that interested in going down the rabbit hole because I know I'll just end up getting really into it and spending too much money. So in terms of the batches, I'm not really that well up on it. I do have um, a sample here of 13P01, which one of my subscribers very kindly sent to me, so thank you once again for that. I also have the original. My bottle of Aventus is 16E21. So I've been wearing them all together and I do get more kind of a smoky woodsiness to this one, to 13P01. But my 16E21 Aventus and Poseidon's Elixir 13ZZ didn't really seem too much different and these had more of the juicy pineapple vibe than the smoky birch which I actually prefer one of the things I find most pleasing about Aventus is the pineapple and the black currant as well to me this is a really nice take on Aventus I love the Aventus DNA in whichever form it takes so I really enjoy wearing this one yes you could get a 30 mil decant of the original Creed for a similar price but ultimately that one's up to you. I will say though that I wore this for work a couple of days ago and I walked past a colleague of mine, we were both going in opposite directions and about two minutes later I received a text message from him and he'd walked through my Sears trail and he said, Chris, whatever scent you were wearing today, it was really nice. So I told him which one it was, I've given him a decant and he's very happy. Next up is Best Citrus Ever. This is based on Henri Jacques' 
Arios, I think it is. It's spelled I-R-O-I-S. It's exclusive to Harrods on the sixth floor. It retails for around about £500, so very exclusive, very expensive fragrance. And Massam from Dua has very kindly put this one together for us. I just want to talk a little bit about the name of this fragrance, Best Citrus Ever. Recently, when I met up with Massam when he was in London, he just purchased the original Henri Jacques fragrance and he said to me, Chris, you've got to smell this. This is the best citrus in the world. And if you watch one of my earlier videos where I interview Massam, you'll see towards the end of the video, we're talking about this fragrance. And he says, best citrus in the world. And we joke that that's what it should be called when Dua's version comes out. And he's done just that. He's changed the name slightly to best citrus ever. But I think that's where the name came around. So watch the video and you will see the name of this fragrance already being formulated. So what does this smell like? Is it the best citrus ever? I can't answer that because I haven't smelled all the citrus fragrances in the world. It's certainly a very good one. To me, this is a lemon bomb. This is a really succulent, juicy, sweet lemon. Almost like sucking on a lemon sherbet sweet and really nicely supported by vetiver in there as well. As it dries down, that lovely, sweet, zesty, effervescent lemon remains pretty strong, but we've also got those woods in the base, so the woods provide plenty of depth to this fragrance. Like with Aqua de Palma's Colonia Ascenza, you get those lovely bright citruses and then a really rich, full-bodied, woodsy depth. So that really helps the performance of this. It's a good performer for a citrus scent. I get around two hours of a good projection and then it'll remain on my skin for a good eight hours. Comparing it side by side to the original, it's very, very good. I'll be honest, I can't really tell a difference. It's a lovely citrus scent. I'll certainly be wearing this a lot this summer. So if you want to experience what it's like to wear a £500 fragrance, this could be your boy. I'm feeling pretty generous today. It's a lovely sunny day out there. I'm in a good mood, so I'll do a giveaway. I'm going to offer one subscriber the chance to win a 5ml decant of each of these four fragrances. So you will win four 5ml decants so you can try them out for yourself. If you'd like to be in with a chance, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed, like this video, also give me a follow over on Instagram because I will announce the winner on Instagram. So in the comments down below, write whatever you like, but do let me know your Instagram name so I can contact you to let you know if you're the winner. Good luck. Okay, that's enough from me. I've decided I'm going to smell like the best citrus ever today. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've tried this one, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell to enable notifications. And until next time, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.